Well taken by Kevin O'Kane, trying to work his way through. Back to Donald Brawley, and again Kevin O'Kane taking off the man on the ball. Third man tackle, but the ball being driven over the bar by Donald Brawley. And the drum leeway having been reduced after some 20 minutes of play. Terence Madden with the kick out. Well taken at midfield by Frank McKee. Locked down. But this time the referee spotting the off the ball incident from Kevin O'Kane. And the free from their own 45 by Danny McMaster for Glenn down the centre. Frank McKee being held but still getting possession. Shrugging off the tackle. And dropping in a penetrating ball. The goalkeeper is under it. It's been deflected and snapped up by Colin Feeney. Clearing his lines. Good defensive work there. Put the ball into Seamus Gallagher. Back to Larry Cudden. Glenn forced back as the drum machine puts on the full press. But the ball deflected over the end line. And again, keeper Seamus McCall taking out Cahill Glass for the second time in the game. Francis Burke with the kick out, being pulled by the breeze towards the sideline. Larry Cudden grubbing for it, picked up by Colin Feeney. Well blocked by Shimmy Geller, snapped up by Larry Cudden. Jimmy Heffernan trying to tease Sean Riley into a rash movement. The ball breaks, but picked up by Patsy Burke at left back and clearing his lines. But Dermot O'Hara now operating at left half, failing to keep it. And Gormley with the sideline. Mickey Morn. Long, long ball from Morn. And a good point from Mickey Morn. His first score of the game, Glenn's eighth, 1-5 to two points. Glenn lead, 23 minutes of play. And meanwhile, play continuing. Barry Young failing to snuff out the danger. It's Jimmy McCluskey in possession. Forward. Out comes Sean McKenna, working at cross field. Frank McKee, the Glenn captain. And again, we saw the third man here, the third man tackle. Frank McKee, and very well taken by the drum full back, but robbed by Johnny Kilt. Back to Ender Gormley, finding Seamus Heffernan, looking for a target, slipping inside, Mickey Morn. And the goal must be disallowed. It would have required a further touch from Cahill Glass to have been allowed, but that goal disallowed because you cannot knock the ball over the goal line for that. And so it's a free out. Kick out from Francis Burke. Broken. Marty O'Donnell racing into the tackle. And the full body press. And again the dissension from Drum seeing the ball being moved forward into a kickable position. And well within Ender Gormley's range. And the free from some 42 metres from Drum, dead straight in front of the goals. And again, the rash movement of the drum captain seeing that ball be moved a further 10 metres forward. And yet another free. I don't think so, I think he's intended to go it. And the retake of the free from Ender Gormley, making no mistake this time, and eases Glenn further in front. 1-5 to Drums, two points, and the Gormley a personal tally of a goal and three points. Spork with the kick out again, and a good ball this time down into the midfield area. Frank McKee taking it. And immediately surrounded by the Drum full press. And again, Frank McKee, the Glen captain and midfielder to take it. It's a magnificent ball driven deep towards the right corner. And broken, Mickey Morn. But Cal Glass, despite knocking that ball to the net, having been a judge to have been inside the parallelogram, and yet a further score disallowed. Feeney with a kick out, trying to find Jimmy McCluskey, broken, picked up by Kevin O'Hara, and been unfairly impeded by Larry Cudden, 
and the drum free to be taken by their right back, 45 metre line. Chipping it forward, broken by Barry Young and clicked on. It's snapped up by Kieran Farn. Slides inside the tackle, and again the tussle for full back and between full back and full forward. And the ball on the ground. And in the loose melee, I do see number 12, Kevin McCain, sinking a fist cleverly behind the referee's back into the midriff of a Glen player. This time, full forward, Anthony O'Hara in possession and being fouled on the Glen 20 metre line. Couldn't have missed it. He lined them up for it. And the free from Sean Riley on the 20 metre line. And immaculately scored from Sean Riley to make the score line 1 6 to 3 points. 1 7. Terence Madden's kick out in the dying seconds of the first half. Ball breaks. Sean Riley. Forward. Donald Brawley. Snapping the ball up and being fouled. And Sean Riley will get another score. Glenn 1 6, drum 4 points. The leeway being ever narrowed. And that's Sean Riley's third point of the game. Midfielder contributing magnificently to his team's achievement. And the kick out from Terence Madden, the Glen fullback, signalling the end of the first half. Glen going in with a five point advantage and worthy of that, although Drum have shown signs in the dying moments of coming back and making this a tense second half. <clears throat> And referee Kevin Cassidy setting the second half in motion. This time Glenn the first to break. And Larry Cudden, long ball forward. For Peter Stevenson, calm, looking for an avenue and clearing it. And Marty O'Donnell fouling Kevin O'Kane. And drum have a free just inside the drum half of the field. Good ball. Broken and grabbed by Marty O'Donnell, but lost again. Danny McMaster, the young centre half. And a late tackle on Danny McMaster, again from Kevin Brawley, but a good ball forward to John McKee. Fine ball to Seamus Heffernan. Good movement, Mickey Morn. Heavy attentions from the fullback. Back to Seamus Heffernan. Seamus Gallagher. Crossfield ball, probing. And Frank McKee again taken out of it. And this time the referee blows. Despite the protestations of Kieran Farren, it's a Glen Free. And Ender Gormley taking pains to see that the ball is set properly for this free. 35 metres from the drum goals, dead straight in front of it. And immaculately stroked over the bar to ease his team into a further lead of one goal and seven points. Ten points to drums, four points and increases personal tally to a goal and four points. Francis Burke's kick out. The long ball on the halfway line, broken forward. Larry Cudden. Big master with the free. Driven deep. Seamus Heffernan failing to come across. Kevin O'Hara. Forward to Kieran Farn. Good ball forward. Again, Danny McMaster onto it, but Donald Brawley, using his experience, pick it up to Sean McCall, battled up by Johnny Keelton unfairly, and Drum have a free. Peter Stevenson with the free. Chipped forward tantalizingly. Owen grabbed beautifully there by Kevin O'Kane, and threatening again, Glenn goals, but dispossessed by Marty O'Donnell. That was a crucial tackle, but again, Broken down by Danny McMaster, and good defensive work. Seamus Gallagher, bottled up by Peter Stevenson. And the relieving free out to be taken by fullback Terence Madden, campaigner of Glenn's previous victory at this level. Down through the centre, snapped up by Kieran Farron. 
and having difficulty clearing his lines. His exultations to his partners. Peter Stevenson again switching the angle of attack to Sean Riley and a probing dangerous ball inside the defence. Sean McCall failing to control it and a dangerous moment averted. And the Glen keeper Colin McKenna with the kick out. Trying to find Barry Young and the youthful minor player grabbing it, shaking off the attentions of Jimmy McCluskey but the delivery cut out by Sean Riley, and now drum build again. Donald Brawley being fouled. Five metres from the Glen goals within Peter Stevenson's range. Chip forward, but wide. That being only drum's third wide of the game to date. And the scoreline remains 170, four points in Glen's favour. Colin McKenna's kick out, just over the 45 metre line, broken, picked up by Barry Burke, adopting the broken ball policy most effectively at the moment, Drum, turns Madden, good play from the fullback, didn't take his eye off the ball. Larry Cudden, back working for it. And Peter Stevenson, being fouled there by Seamus Gallagher, Again, probing ball, grabbed by Kevin O'Kane. And a good score from Kevin O'Kane. Simple movement. And O'Kane justifying his inclusion there at the half forward line. And reducing the drum leeway to five. And the referee back admonishing the Glen keeper for what must be something to do with wasting of time. At any rate, the play resuming. The ball breaks and grabbed by Larry Cudden, feeding it forward to the left half back. Marty O'Donnell, long, long probing ball broken. But there's Kevin O'Hara coming clear with it. But losing possession, being fouled. Again chipping forward. Larry Cudden breaking it down. Grabbed by Mickey Morn. Feeding it out to Cahill Glass. Now roving deep. And just a pass too many possibly, but they're lucky to get the deflection. And a fine score there from Cahill Glass. But meanwhile, back in the centre of the field, McLean left half forward. Seamus Heffernan having been stretched again off the ball. But the Glen advantage of six points being... Riku there by a magnificent score from Cahill Glass. And Francis Burke with the kick out. Ball breaks. Seamus Gallagher. Inside to John McKee. A magnificent ball from Gallagher. But the ball from John McKee just lacking any real weight and no real threat to the drum keeper. McCall clearing his lines. Finding their earlier scorer there, Kevin O'Kane. Trying to find the midfielder. The ball breaks and deflected. Jimmy McCluskey in possession. Back to Sean Riley. And Drum getting back into this game. Good support. Jimmy McCluskey. Threatening movement from Drum. And an important ball won there by Larry Cudden. Again, didn't take his eyes off the ball. And Mickey Moore roaming deep at midfield. And again, being taken out in the third man tackle. But forward to Seamus Haffernan. Meanwhile, Peter Stevenson back getting the tackle on. And Heffernan lofting it off balance wide. And the kick out from Francis Burke into an open space to be filled by Glenn Men. And again the tackle off the ball. This continual drum tactic, this time being punished as Colin Feeney's name is entered into the referee's book to accompany that of fullback Francis Burke, who had his name taken much earlier in the game taken to Mickey Morn. The angle perfect. And the shot perfect. Beautiful score. One